It has been so long since we have seen a new route in the SMB3 Warpless category, and just the fact that we have a new route makes this run even more exciting. Not only does it eliminate some of the RNG, but there's actually new little strategies that we can use that I'm about to show you guys today. One of the most interesting things is that I made a video watching the tool assisted speedrun to see if there were any strats that I could take from it. And initially, I didn't even think about it at first, and it took a couple days to, to kind of sink in. And then I finally found that, that there was something that we could do. And luckily, I had uh, some people in the Mario 3 community that I was able to like bounce some ideas off of, and we ended up coming up with this really cool idea. So the first thing I want to start with today is in the world record, I did the early hammer manipulation, but using that method caused me to get an extra music box in world two. And the, the problem with that is that I don't actually need that music box, at least not yet. Even though I got the early hammer with the manipulation, I had to wrap back and I had to get the music box because it was in my way. That cost me about 12 seconds. I can totally get the music box in world two and then not get any more music boxes for the rest of the game but that requires a lot more luck. The Hammer Brother battle with the Boomerang is the longest Hammer Brother battle in the game. World 4 has a giant bro and it's just a flat ground. World 3 has potential water patterns, which is pretty close to the same amount of time as the Boomerang, if not maybe a little faster, but there's a lot of RNG that comes into play. World 2 is just always slow Hammer Brothers, so you want to avoid that music box. Now let's get into the good stuff. Using a P-Wing in 5-1, it allows me to grab the secret music box that's hidden in this seeker right here. A lot of people don't notice this, but if you use a P-Wing and not mess up like I just did, it's actually really tricky to do this. It's really tricky. But if I use a P-Wing and I do a duck jump fly, I can actually get a music box here. Which means, versus the world record, if I don't get the music box in World 2, I save a little time on the world record. But if I get the music box here, then it's almost like I got the music box but didn't fight the Hammer Brothers. I don't have my Fire Flower anymore, which means I can't Fire Flower this Boom Boom. What makes that a problem is the fact that it's almost a 3 second time loss. And now I have to stomp on him, I can't Fire Kill him. It's a massive oversight on our part. This is something that we've talked about in the Mario 3 community for a very long time. And the funny thing is, is we all, for some reason, thought that losing your Fire Flower here was some big, bad mistake, but it's really not. When you use a Tail in, in this level, in 5-2, which is right after, we can actually do a damage boost strat that now allows us to keep our P speed and kind of do the level a little bit faster. So there's already a time save right there. That's like, what were we thinking back then, right? So I can damage boost, run on top, land on the Goomba, land up top, jump, good to go. Not only can I do that, but now I have P speed from this pipe all the way in to the end card. So that level was faster. 5-1 was faster. So, so far, the only thing slower is the Boom Boom kill. Using a Fire Flower in 5-5, five five, does actually help you and I'll, I'll show you how it can help me it allows me to shoot one shot and get rid of the turtle that really makes the jump super tight but having fire flower makes it a lot easier so let's check it out see if I can nail it right there see I got peace speed so easy that fireball that fireball is very important let me show you one more time shoot that fireball and it gets rid of that Goomba when you have fire flower in 5-7 you can shoot this guy right here boom build P speed we're good to go this level's really easy look at it boom Easy, blah, 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 blah. You know, no big deal. Done, right? However, we don't have Fire Flower anymore. Luckily, this game gives us an extra star that, for the most part, we have no idea what to do with. We, we have no clue what to use this star for. So doing this doing this new route, it's perfect for the star. And not only that, it gives us this, like, super swaggy Fire Flower grab. Like, it's so, like you can hear how excited I am. Boom, bounce off, and like, it works out perfect. It's so awesome. It's so cool. Boom, right on. I love it, I love it. Getting the music box in 5-1 instead of World 2 is obviously a difference of more than 12 seconds considering 5-2 and 5-1 are both faster using this method. When I beat World 3, the game gives me a music box with Peach's letter. Boom, we use that music box in World 4. See you later, Hammer Brothers, no more RNG. I love it. Then we get to 5-1 here. We get the secret music box. Boom, I use the music box on the Hammer Brothers in World 5. See you later, RNG. There's no more RNG. We still gotta worry about Runaway Bro, and we have to worry about World 2 Hammer Brothers, obviously. But that's it. SMB3 Warpless used to be so comprised of 
Did I get lucky in World 4? No, I didn't. Okay, I have to get lucky in World 5 now. And it's the other way around. Did I get lucky in World 4? Yes, so I don't have to get lucky in World 5. Because I'm not getting a P-Wing from World 4 or World 5, I'm I'm stuck here. What am I going to do? I'm actually two P-Wings down because I use a P-Wing in 5-1. I now have to do a wall jump in 6-9, Kappa. Normally, we would be scared of that, but the world record actually already has a wall jump. And thanks to the super hot category, all forts, wall jumping in this game isn't too bad anymore. So we're going to try the wall jump, and hopefully hopefully we can get it. Even if I don't get a first try, at least you guys know. Boom, there you go. We just got it. I do that instead of a P-Wing this level. It's like almost the same amount of time. It makes no difference. It's fantastic. But here is the other problem. I'm down two P-Wings, not one. The other place where I replace the P-Wing is actually in 7-6. Normally, I would P-Wing this level. This time, now, I'm, I've decided to do the clip. So now I'm going for the wall jump and the clip. Sacrifice the P-Wing, save the time from the extra hammer, brother. Boom. Big time save. Thank you very much, Tool Assisted Speedrun, for making me remember that this was a viable strategy. If I didn't watch the task with you guys, I... I would never have found it. It's insane. And that, my friends, is the brand new Warpless Route Explained. This is 100% going to be the meta. I, I highly recommend all Warpless Runners start using this method. Not only does it eliminate the RNG, but all you're doing is adding in things that are well within your control. Wall jumps are a little RNG, but if you're good at them, they're not a problem. Clips, we now have manipulations that allow us to set up our proper subpixels to at least have a better chance of getting the clips. The reason that this is so much better is because we get so many more chances to get to world 6, 7, and 8. Like always guys, leave some comments down below on how you feel about this new route. Also, if you guys think you have any other ideas of maybe some things that I might be able to implement, throw some ideas out there. I think the best way that we can come up with some new things is if we all work together to like throw some ideas. There are no stupid ideas. Even if you think it's dumb, it probably is, but you know, I'll let you know and, and then maybe from there you could understand. So don't be shy. Tell me everything you want to know in the comments below and I'll check them out. Now, when you watch the world record attempts, you guys can finally have something to look out for. If I ever make it there, I never make it there. The RNG in this game is just absolutely, it's just absolutely crazy guys. Like always, I really hope you guys learned something. And if you did, show this to somebody else, man. Everyone learning is just a huge benefit to everyone. So, hope you guys have a nice night. See you later.